السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس وی آر ڈوئنگ چیپٹر نمبر ون سیکریٹری ان سیکریٹیریل پریکٹس سی ایز آف ناؤ وی آر ڈن ود اوریجن آف سیکریٹری میننگ اینڈ ڈیفینیشن اٹس فیچرس سی سیکریٹری ایز وی ہیو سین آلریڈی از اپوائنٹیڈ بائی بزی انڈیویجولس اور آرگنائزیشنس ٹو ہیلپ دیم رائٹ On the basis of this, there has been a classification on the types of secretaries. See, as there is a growth, as there is a development of industries and there is a transformation in the society from rural to urban, there is a need of various organizations which requires person to help them. right see the growth of industrialization and modernization has led to increase in various types of organization which requires a person on whom the individuals or the organization entrust hand over their responsibilities we have seen already there has been an industrialization there is a development of industries and again transformation in the work process transformation in the society on the basis of this there has been bifurcation on the types of secretaries secretary is divided into two categories the very first one is personal secretary and the second one is institutional secretary in institutional secretary there is a it's further more divided or it's further more classified as secretary of non profit association secretary of cooperative society secretary of a joint stock company secretary of a government department and then other body corporates see each of these we are going to study in detail each, each of this form of organization has been explained in chapter number 2 but as of now i'm going to give you a short detail about each of these organizations coming to the personal secretary personal secretary also known as personal assistant to assist means to help thus i can say assistant is nothing but an helper so personal secretary also known as personal assistant personal helper secondly it's the oldest type of secretary we have seen already and then it is appointed by busy individuals appointed by busy individuals for what for doing correspondence and doing their day to day duties now when i'm saying personal secretary and then busy individuals the professions or the persons they come up in my mind are nothing but industrialist businessmen and professionals now we are going to study about their appointment and their qualification i repeat personal secretary also known as personal assistant and it's one of the oldest type of secretary now once we say that it's appointed by an busy individuals so obviously they they're going to help in their day to day routine duties coming to the appointment as we have already seen appointed by busy individuals for their day to day work to look after their other works other than their profession and then these things enable them these things allow the busy individual to concentrate on their primary work okay it's appointed by busy individuals for their work which enables them which allows them to concentrate to have a proper concentration on their primary work the examples of busy individuals are doctors lawyers engineers chartered accountants actors politicians leaders ministers etc now coming to the qualifications what qualification is required to be a secretary of a busy individual or i can say to be a personal secretary now see here qualification depends upon the requirement of employer's profession okay if an 
if let's take an example if a person is a lawyer so the the employer or the lawyer will expect the secretary to have certain knowledge regarding how to arrange the books okay how to assist in helping those law books or i can say how to you know type letters secondly correspondence right to correspond means to write so being an helper writing letter to the clients so yes qualification depends upon the requirement of employer's profession very first thing secondly a graduate a graduation degree the person should be a graduate should have a graduation degree should have good command over language command over language that means you should be very good in your speaking skills on your you know you should be very good at your language then you should have knowledge of computers internet skills is required and now it has become a necessity okay it's very important being a necessity means it's a basic need these days that the person should have internet skills should have internet skills and should have proper knowledge of the computers so with this we have a clear idea if a person wants to be a personal secretary who appoints personal secretary and what are the qualifications to be a personal secretary coming to the institutional secretary now a secretary appointed by an institution or organization is called as institutional secretary in simple terms a person appointed by an organization a company or any other association association that is group of persons coming together for working is known as institutional secretary so some institutional secretaries are the very first one is secretary of a non profit association see the word non profit itself says the main motive behind working is not to earn profit but to help the society association itself means a group a club or a company or an organization which is formed or which is come together to help the society see a non profit association means the organizations formed to promote social educational cultural arts sports activities now to promote means to encourage okay to promote means to encourage this support the support what social development educational development cultural development arts and other sports activities with the intentions of providing services their intention is okay their intentions their motive behind is providing service and not to earn profit they just want to provide services to the society and not to earn profit see non profit association we are going to study in detail in chapter number 2 as i have already told you all these type of institutions and organizations we are going to study in detail now we are going to see appointment of a secretary of non profit association see non profit association is looked after by management committee which is elected by members see the word association means group of persons coming together group of persons coming together so now it's looked after by management committee which is elected by members when all the group members they have come together they form a committee they form a committee of members the secretary may be a full time or part time person working on salary basis or honorarium basis we have seen already what is salary basis and what is an honorarium basis when we were doing features of secretary right so now the secretary of this non profit association may be a full time or a part time person 
working on salary or honorarium basis. Now what are the examples of non-profit association? Rotary Club, Lions Club, Sports Club, Cultural Clubs, Chamber of Commerce etc. are the examples of non-profit association. Now what is Chamber of Commerce? Chamber of Commerce is nothing but a network which is formed by you know different business firms. Chamber of Commerce works as a spokesman. Spokesman means uh, this Chamber of Commerce stands for the other business firms which speaks on their behalf. Now coming to the qualification of a secretary like if you want to be a secretary of non-profit association what are the qualities you require what are, what are the qualifications and the qualities you require the very first one is the secretary should be acquainted with what do you mean by acquainted with acquainted means being familiar with being familiar means you already know something or you already know someone being familiar with i am known with okay so the secretary should be acquainted with or familiar with the objects and basic functioning basic working of the organization the secretary should know already how a non-profit association works and the second is should have a knowledge of filing okay the filing i would say should have some knowledge of law or should know how to organize and how to keep records should be up to date you know filing is nothing but you know being up to date and to organize the records like keeping everything properly in place the secretary should be acquainted with the objects and basic functioning of the organization very first one second is should have knowledge of filing should have knowledge of computers should know how to correspond and should you know fulfill all the basic requirements of this type of organization like you know it should be familiar with doing correspondence and you know these are nothing but the basic requirements of the organization coming to the second one secretary of cooperative society okay see an association which is formed voluntarily by minimum 10 members or more association again a group association means a group when a society when a group or when an association is formed voluntarily voluntarily means by choice by one's own free will i will come up with my free will with my choice to form a group or an association that is known as cooperative society in maharashtra these groups are registered under the maharashtra state cooperative societies act 1960 if you want to run a cooperative society all the members or the cooperative society should register themselves under the act that is Maharashtra State Cooperative Societies Act 1960. Now the main objective, the main purpose behind forming this cooperative societies is to provide services to its members. Now a group of people coming together to provide service to the members. Examples are cooperative banks, cooperative housing society, consumer cooperative stores etc. Now see how the appointment, we are going to see the appointment and the qualifications to be a secretary of cooperative society. Appointment. Members elect their representatives called management committee. When all the you know group members, they come together to form a society, to form an association, to form a group, they form a management committee okay they form few members are you know few members are there who form a management committee now 
one of the members of the management committee is appointed as a secretary they can be a member of five persons as a managing committee from those five persons one would be a member as a secretary now here the secretary of cooperative society works on an honorary basis we have already seen now for large scale cooperative organizations when the cooperative society or the cooperative organization is large secretary may be appointed as a full time employee on salary basis coming to the qualifications you know the secretary does not have any specific qualification but should have a good knowledge of cooperative societies act and should be at least a graduate now there is no such specific qualifications to be a secretary of a cooperative society but apart from this the person should have good knowledge of the cooperative societies act and should be at least a graduate coming to the third one secretary of a joint stock company joint stock company is a huge topic now in secretarial practice in 11th standard the whole focus or all the chapters are on joint stock company and the working of joint stock company today in brief or i can say in short i'm going to explain you what is joint stock company now a joint stock company is nothing but a form of organization a form of company which is considered to be the most suitable its best or i can say its right for organizing business activities on large scale if you have a huge business and a huge networking if i say you want to do a business here in the state of maharashtra than in the state of state or in any other part of the country like a huge network a joint stock company is one of the best ways to do such kind of businesses now a company secretary is considered to be the most important if i say most important the other word is coming up is key officer of the company now key officer who is a key officer a person who is connected in the management or i can say a uh, an officer who are there in the management positions now i repeat or i read a company secretary is considered to be one of the key officers of the company the person who is there in the management position now secretary is of vital importance in the modern business organization a secretary is needed is very important in the modern business organization now we are going to see the appointment and qualifications now it's appointed right from the time the company is formed as and when a person plans to start a company a joint stock company right from the beginning or right from the start when the company is formed secretary is needed or secretary is appointed now this secretary works under the control of board of directors board of directors we are going to study in detail but as of now board of directors are the persons who are there in the management of the company now secretary is again appointed as per the companies act 2013 now there is an act companies act 2013 which has stated all the rules and regulations their qualifications regarding the appointment of secretary okay now coming to the qualifications as per section 203 of the companies act 2013 the company secretary must be a member of the institute of company secretaries of india that is icsi if you want to be a secretary of joint stock company you have to be the member of icsi institute of company secretaries of india 
Coming to the fourth one, Secretary of Government Department. See, government departments are those departments working under the various ministries. That means working under various ministers of the state and central government. Ministries. What are ministries? Ministries are nothing but an office or I can say again a group. Now we are going to see the appointment. In the functioning of government of India and state government, a secretary is the administrative head of a ministry or department. Administrative head to administer, to look after. Okay. So, administrative head here, I can say head of the department or head of the ministry, department, units or I can say different sectors. Now, in the union and state government, secretaries hold position as heads of the department. Here, in both the situations, you can see the secretary is considered as head of the departments, administrative heads or head of the department. Now, what are these ministries? See, finance minister you have seen, defense minister you have seen. Likewise, examples of these secretaries are finance secretary, defense secretary, home secretary, etc. Now, see what are their qualifications? Here, if you want to be a secretary of a government department, one should possess, one should have a graduation degree and apart from having a graduation degree, one should pass civil service examination which is conducted by public service commission and should be in Indian administrative services. Okay, if you want to be a secretary of government department, you should have a graduation degree, very first thing. Secondly, you have to pass a civil service examination which is conducted under public service commission and you should be in Indian administrative service. That means you should be a member of IAS. You should be an IAS officer. With this, we come to an end with types of secretaries. That's all for today class. Thank you.